Good morning, Mr. Castellanos. Good morning, McGraw. All right, so it seems like the White House can't get past this Rob Porter story. No, and then they might have a few other things to deal with, an infrastructure plan they're trying to get funded, the uh, White House clearances. It seems that a lot of people haven't been cleared to handle top-secret material. The uh, uh, They're trying to keep the economy going, yet they're talking about uh, spousal abuse in the White House, and this is the end of a week of having to deal with what should have been a one-day story. Yeah. Uh, how much of this actually hurts them going forward, or is this part of the I can shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and it doesn't matter? It's probably that uh, Donald Trump has already hurt himself so much with women voters, college-educated, white, suburban women. You can't fall off the floor. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, will keep it polarized. But that's a bad spot for Donald Trump and Republicans going into 2018. That is the Democratic wave that threatens to cost Donald Trump the House and get him in big trouble in 2019. Here's what I don't understand, and maybe as the Trump whisperer you can explain this. How hard is it for him to say domestic violence is terrible and we should root it out everywhere we find it? That doesn't say he's, he's bad or anything. It's just it's giving a nod to people who suffer from domestic abuse. Donald Trump apparently thinks it is weakness to agree with what he says is the other side. Uh, when he sees an issue like this, he thinks it is more important to demonstrate strength, tell people you're wrong, you're looking at the wrong side of this, I'm the president, and to demonstrate strength even when it gets him into political trouble, even when he could be on the politically popular side of an issue. And it on the one hand, it's what's made him president, right? That contrarian streak. On the other hand, it's polarized the country and caused him big trouble. Yeah, it's a negative reinforcement, if you will. Uh, are the Republicans the fiscal responsibility party anymore? No. No. One thing politicians in Washington can always agree on, it seems, Democrat or Republican, is they can always find new ways to spend our money, especially money we don't have, especially money our children won't have. And they have done it again. To get uh, some stability in defense spending, Republicans gave away the store on social programs to the Democrats. You know, we've said for years, why can't Washington get along? Why can't they work together? Well, we've now seen what happens when they work together. We go broke. <laughs> So the only thing worse than partisanship is bi bi bipartisanship. <laughs> bipartisanship is awful. Look at it. It's going to kill us all. What about the fact that so many people in the White House cannot get top security clearance? Is that a problem just for governing? It is a problem for the Trump administration in many ways. Uh, they're having to figure out how to how to do end runs around their own personnel because not everyone there has been cleared to see the material they need to see to do their job. But this is the big problem of the Trump administration, an outsider's administration that came to Washington to change Washington. They have no background in this. They have complicated economic pasts. Uh, they never lived their life to prepare for a life of scrutiny. And so they can't get people in government to actually run the place who can get a security clearance. Yeah. The theory is re Republicans tout their tax plan and they can uh, keep hold of the House and the Senate. Do you agree with that strategy? No. I think it'll certainly help. Look, a booming economy. This is the first month under uh, Donald Trump's tax cut. And guess what? We have more government revenue than we had spending. We actually reduced the deficit this month. And it's not going to help Republicans that much. Why? Because the opposition to Donald Trump is not about dollars and cents. It's not about jobs. It's emotional. It's visceral. It's personal. It's women who hate Donald Trump and the idea that he's president. And that's not going to improve with a uh, even with a booming economy. Alex Castellanos, ABC News political analyst with us every Tuesday. Have a good week, Alex. Thanks. Good to be